thanks for joining us. In the past, we've shown you, on a number of occasions, members of the Hare Krishna movement collecting money on the street. Now, often they've told donors that the money goes to drug rehabilitation, and it's been apparent that some donors don't realise they're really giving it to the Krishnas. We received a call today telling us that two members of the movement were collecting money at a Sydney shopping centre, so Howard Gipps set out to determine whether the donors today knew they were contributing to the Hare Krishnas. This is the main street of the Eastwood Shopping Centre and these are the two collectors we were called about. We've been watching them for about an hour and about three quarters of the people who they ask for donations decline to give them. The other quarter do give them and this is what they're told when they do. She came to Flower and told me that I was giving to all, uh, it was from uh, Derelict Society in King's Cross and asked me if I'd give her a dollar and I said no I'd give you 50 cents. Did I ask you how much you gave? A dollar. What did they say? That was for the derelicts up at the King's Cross. Did they, the, did they say any particular group? No. Would it surprise you if I told you they were Hare Krishnas? Oh. <laughs> a handsome young boy is something that to really is. What? Me? A handsome young boy? Well, What's that for? From a Kunda shopping centre where we buy food for all derelicts and give counselling to drug addicts as well. Oh, yeah. I have a collection to make you this one as well, Pat. Um, who's it for? Wakunda's Drop-In Centre. It's by ISCON. ISCON. International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So I gave a dollar. What did they tell you it was for? Um, they said it was for uh, helping drug, uh, or helping rehabilitate people on drugs and uh, distributing food in King's Cross. Who's ISCON? International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Is that like the Hare Krishnas? Yes, it's part of the Hare Krishnas. Do you tell people that? Yes, if they want to. And tell you they Krishnas? No, they didn't. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. They didn't, they just said, they just said it's for a cause and would you like to make a donation? Does it surprise you they didn't tell you they were Hare Krishnas? No. Do you think they're right doing that? No. What if I tell you I'm from Willisey at seven? Yes. And we've spoken to a number of people this morning who you didn't tell you were collecting for the Krishnas and who were upset because of it. Oh, we never tell, not, don't tell anyone. You never not tell anybody? No, unless they, you know, we always tell people we're from Hare Krishna. Did she say she was a Hare Krishna? No, I don't know. I can't, can't say. You yes, don't can't remember say, it? No. Yeah. She was just coming out with all these things, pin and razors all over me. And I'm very annoyed because I don't like the Hare Krishna movement. Yes, because I don't believe that they do very much good work. I'm feeling very con now. Does that annoy you? Yes, it does. Didn't they explain who it was for? No, no. Just said for the derelicts of the cross. Well, if they ask, the ISKCON is written all over our badge. Yes, but who knows what ISKCON is? Generally speaking, people do. Who did she tell you she was collecting for? For uh, the drug thing down at King's Cross or something. Did you ask any uh, where the money was actually going to be distributed or, or who was going to distribute it? No, nah, she was just hassling me so fast. Would you have given the money had you known it? No. Pardon? Mike you tell us where the money goes. Mike Willis. Yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Hare. Where does the money go? Can you tell me where the money goes? When they started walking away, they started singing Hare Krishna, and now they didn't say anything to us about being Hare Krishnas. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. If you want any, if you want any more information, go and see our supervisor. Well, look, I'm asking you because you are collecting money on the street from Did people in public. Not to I know. Say I'm just telling you. Said Who it. said not to say anything? Oh. Cheetah Hari, was it? Look, why if you can't want you, why any can't you talk about it? Go see our supervisor. Well, that's fine, but I'm asking you because you're go collecting public money on the street and you are not telling go people who you are collecting for. Go see our supervisor. Isn't that immoral? No. Does it surprise you to learn that they're Hari Krishnas? Well, yes, it does. But it's, it's, um, I object to that, actually, because I don't, um, I wouldn't give to something like that. Why can't you just give me a kiss? You don't have to run away. You're a demon, Mike Willis. I'm, I'm not Mike Willis. I'm not a demon. I'm trying to find out why you don't tell people who you're collecting on. My goodness, I'm a demon. It is annoying, though, isn't it? Because we all feel a bit guilty when we see people collecting in the streets. We presume it's for a charity, for a decent cause, and often enough we give. In the case of the Hare Krishnas, I don't know where the money goes. After we did that story, a man called us saying he was from a firm of solicitors and gave it that name and he warned us that uh, members of Krishna would be watching tonight and he said if they see any adverse or defamatory matters go to where they will instruct you to take appropriate legal action if they see any adverse or defamatory matters well I think I don't know about defamatory but that would certainly have to be adverse wouldn't it all those people saying that they were told about drug rehabilitation or derelicts in King's Cross 
but it was for the Hare Krishnas. You wonder why they don't go and get a job if they want to feed themselves. We have no evidence of them spending money on drug rehabilitation or anybody but themselves. If they do have that evidence, we'd be very happy to broadcast it. More in a moment. Evidence of a religious sect called Hare Krishna. Each story has resulted from a number of complaints from the public over misrepresentation by Krishna followers. When soliciting donations on the street, they were not declaring themselves, the people constantly said. Sometimes they even went so far as to wear wigs in an apparent attempt to disguise themselves. Our latest story in the complaints of Hare Krishna deception was a few days back. In summary, I then said that I didn't know of any drug rehabilitation program they had, but said that if they did have them, we would show it. I've now been challenged by the Hare Krishna cult in newspaper advertisements to a live debate on television. And as I've now discovered they do have a drop-in centre in King's Cross for down and outs, I've agreed. And the spokesman for Hare Krishna is with me now, Mr. Cheetah Hari. Mr. Hari, thanks for coming in. Thanks for inviting me in, Mike. You do have a drop-in centre in King's Cross. Just first Cross. of all, we'd like to give you a garland from the Hare Krishnas. Thank you very much. We'll just leave it over there. You do have a drop-in centre, as we've now discovered. How much does it cost you to run? Well, to run the drop-in centre co uh, costs between $1,000 and $1,200 per week. How much of that would come from street collections? Around about $600 a week. How much does an average collector get in one day on the street? $45 to $55. So that would take uh, about two people a week to get to $600. Yeah, we have about six collectors go out and they go out on two days a week, so part-time basis, because they're not full-time into this. The two people working for a week each, they would get that $600. Right. Where does the rest of the money go? The rest of what money go? The other money collected in the streets. There's no other money collected in the streets. There's no other money collected in the streets. Like I said, there's six girls. They go out on a part-time basis, about two days a week each. They collect approximately $50 each a day, so that adds up to $600 a week. The other $600 to run Makunda's Drop-In Centre comes from private donations from people inside the society, from workers who have their own jobs. Or... You've only got six girls. You're talking about Sydney? Yes, yeah, Sydney. Two days a week, so on an average in the whole of Sydney, you'd only have what, two girls at the most in the whole of Sydney working on one day? No. How many? Up to four. Well, that's more than six girls working two days a week. No, I didn't say which days, but on any one day we may have four girls out. And that's all you have? Yeah. Truly? Yeah, truly. We get calls every week complaining about your people collecting. Well, you've got a kind of a personal vendetta against us, so whenever anybody sees us and they may not like us, of course, as people may not like our movement, particularly the way you've uh, encouraged them to think over the years, then they immediately think, Hare Krishna's Mike Willisy, let me tell Mike about it. And maybe Mike will come down and get him. But why and deceive? Most times he does. If you don't deceive people, there's no problem. We don't deceive people. You're allowed to collect as a religion, it's <coughs> within the law. Right. But you break council laws for a start, you collect without permits. What can we do? We're starting off, just like the Salvation Armies in the original days, they had to break so many laws in order to get on. Now we see the Red Shield Appeal, they advertise it not as a, as a Salvos, but as a Red Shield Appeal, $5 million in one day. I mean, they had to, in the early days, they used to get arrested and harassed by councils and police. Why don't you simply say you're Hare Krishna when you ask for money? Because we're the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, that's our registered name. I mean, All right, this what? is the same old Okay, thing you don't like the over. name Hare Krishna, obviously. We like the name Hare Krishna because it means but it's not the name of God, but it's unpopular yeah. due to you, largely due to you. Well, well, I hope that's right because, you know, we see our duty as a public television program to protect people from being cheated. And if they feel, that, as, as you've seen on our program, hundreds of people have complained and you've seen probably in total 40 or 50 of them say on television over the years, I gave money because I thought it was for drug referral centre, or I gave money for this for drug reason. referral? They didn't know it was Hare Krishna. All right, that may not, just like, but we have to say who we are. We can't say we're not ISKCON. We say we're ISKCON, you and we're collecting for a drug referral centre. You've seen our cameras have proven that. We You'll say it if ISCON. you're asked. No, it's right there on the badge, ISKCON, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Oh, you really expect people to read the badge and see those initials? 
What can you, I do? Look, you've got a problem. You're admitting it. You, Harry Christian's unpopular. Look, you how long, how long are you going to beat a dead horse for? You've been on this for four years. Yeah, well, people The keep same old us. thing every week. Why don't you say you're Hare Krishna? We do. We're ISKCON. We want to tell everybody in the world. But actually, we're ISKCON. Let us get on with the work. ISKCON means the Hare Krishna movement. Right. ISKCON is the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Are you we're honest Christians. and truthful? Yeah, I am an honest person. You did a radio interview today where you said that we, this program, did stories on just one little phone call from some person. You said that I said you don't actually have a program for feeding unfortunates. You also said, we always tell people that we are from ISKCON. Now, there are three inaccurate statements. No, it's not. You said that we, they don't have any program like that. Oh, I said I didn't know of it. You said, they, you said they do not have any program like that. You had a press advertisement this morning in which the quote was accurate. Mm. You gave a radio interview today where you made up the quote. I didn't make up the oh, quote. Maybe, facts I made, are facts. Maybe one word was out, but why go on about such a simple little Because slip? we are talking about deception. Well, you're, you're involved in deceiving people. Yeah, well, One time, your men don't declare immediately that I'm Mike Willisey. Your man comes up, he's in disguise, he's got a microphone hidden under his shirt, and he comes up to somebody and questions him in such a way as if he's just an ordinary member yeah. of the public. You're someone out there illegally Mike collecting Willis. money from people who don't know who they're giving money to. You know, people have a guilty conscience about why money don't you? Others. Why don't you come down and show people what we're doing at Macundas? That's what I've asked you to do. Come down, show people you, what we're doing at Macundas. You just told us 600, How? two people working on the streets gives that money. Where's the rest of the money go? The rest of the money comes from other members in our society, Ron Macundas. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the rest of the money you get from the street. There's no Two girls there, working There's only $600 there. Yeah, but where's Six the rest of the money Six to seven, maybe $700. Oh. Why don't you just undertake in your future collections, A, to do it legally, get council permits when necessary, and B, to declare that you're Hare Krishna. And why don't you do what you said, why don't you do what you said on your last show, if they do have such a program, we'd be, on, we'd be too happy, we'd be happy to show it. We've, that were your we've words. agreed on that tonight. We've so you're going to come it. and do that? You're going to come down and show Amakunda's drop-in centre? If we can see the whole story, yeah, where the rest of the money goes. <laughs> what can we do? So you won't do it, right? If you we, said you would, but you won't. Yep, we'll do it. If You'll we can do, do the whole story. All right, come down Not and show it. Not just your six hundred dollar bit. All right, come down and show it. Mr. Cheetah Hari, I hope that you start telling the truth on the streets and we can stop doing these interviews. Thanks for coming in. Hari Krishna Mike. We'll be back with more in a moment. I keep doing them, but I suppose once you stick your neck out and make an accusation and people challenge you, you can't run away from it. And the fact is it's been the most constant stream of complaints we've ever had in this program because while the amounts may be small, people don't like being deceived, an awful lot of them say, well, we didn't know who we were giving the money to. Other charities have had problems the other way around from time to time with the bogus collectors stepping in and pretending they belong to a certain charity. So it all comes down to the one thing, if somebody approaches you on the street and asks for money for charity, check their badge, ask them who they are. It may be a little embarrassing, but I guess it's a little embarrassing anyway to be stopped on the street and asked for money. Ask them first, stop and think about your decision, then decide if you want to give some money. That's all we have for tonight. Back at the same time tomorrow night, we'll see you then. Good night.